Hey, Mike, what was it uh, like playing with Nigel out there when he's when he's that high? Um, it's a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, Nigel is a great young talent, and uh, he could really shoot the ball. So it's a lot of fun. I mean, pleasure just to be able to dish the ball over for an easy three. Did today kind of show how much you guys missed him while he was out and still getting his legs back under him? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, we missed him a lot. Uh, we we knew how much we missed him even when he was out. And uh, happy to have him back. He's a special young player. Seriously, a special young player with a bright future. You guys seem to handle the press uh, fairly well throughout the game. And they finally got to you in the last minutes. What what just trying to kind of change there? Um. You know, probably we, we lost our poise. Uh, I started with me, lost, lost our poise, trying to, trying to play too fast against the press instead of just continuing to do what we were doing the whole game and just beating it first. And uh, beating it first and then executing on, on, on offense and uh, getting it on set. But uh, yeah, they, they, they ramped it up a little bit at the end. They got a little farther, like uh, pressured the ball a little bit more. And um, we got to be able to handle that. Thanks, Mike. Next question to Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Mike, just given the circumstances of, of being so close at the very end and, and not winning, would you say this is the toughest loss of the year? I mean, I just think it's a lot different than Wednesday, for instance, when you guys were just I mean, out of it pretty quickly, whereas this one, you guys were right in the thick of it with a minute to go. It, it's tough because, like, you know, like, you had it. It was right mm -hmm. there for us. So, and it's tough in that aspect. But, I mean, it, it's, it, it feels better to be in a game and be competing, mm -hmm. playing the right way, being in a game for a whole 40 minutes, cheering it, like having, have, like it's more, it's, it, was, it was more fun out there, through, like seeing everybody do well and uh, being there for each other. So, although it does hurt, it hurts, it hurts, but it's a, it's a different type of, different type of hurt. Mike, you've kind of every time we've met with you after these games, when they've been losses, you, you've always taken so much responsibility for it. What, what can you say about the, you know, even though you guys lost today, the bounce back after the way Wednesday unfolded to come so close to, to winning today? Uh, it's bounce back for sure, but we don't, we don't play to come close. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, we bounced back, but we weren't good enough again. And a loss is a loss. And, um, <laughs> It's in the past now, but uh, yeah, you know. My, yes. Thank, thank you, Mike. Uh, next question to John Kurtz. Yeah, Mike. Just how tough was it to put behind you guys? Not just the loss earlier this week, but just the way that that loss happened. Um, you know, it, it was tough, honestly. First, uh, but as a as basketball players. We're blessed, and we we had got another opportunity today, and um, so it's an opportunity to play basketball and uh, the game we all love. This is what we signed up for. Uh, this is what we want to do, and so yeah, it's tough, but it's it's basketball at the end of the day, and we love this game. So it's another opportunity. It was another opportunity. Appreciate it, Mike. Thanks. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Mike, did you guys go on the attack much more in the second half that uh, kind of made a difference offensively? Uh, I'd say part of it, we started to hit some shots. And um, first half, we were getting some good shots and we weren't hitting. And, um, you know, we, we gave ourselves a chance. We stayed in the game. We got some stops in the first half. But uh, it's, it, was, it's, it was another instance of we got to come out better. And um, today we came out. We were there on defense, but we got to come out better firing on offense, all cylinders. And uh, we got good shots. We moved the ball, but uh, got it, myself included, got to hit shots, got to be ready to play. And did uh, running some plays through Davion Bradford kind of free up the perimeter a little bit for yourself and Nigel back? Yeah, definitely. And uh, him and Casey, they're, they're, they're a presence in this inside. And uh, it's great to have that. Great to have him on our team. It gives gives us another option, a great option. And uh, whenever we want a basket, we we go down to either one of them, and uh, 
it really it really does open things up for us and gives us more gives us more space on the outside. And what's your anticipation of going to Lawrence on Tuesday to play KU? Uh, we're going to that game to win, and uh, we're going to prepare to win. And uh, we're not we're not looking at it any type of way. We know it's a rivalry game, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna be prepared to win, and that's what that's our mindset going into the game.